The new Corvette Z06 set a Nurburgring lap time that they aren't releasing yet, but we know it anyway. The redesigned Toyota Tacoma's price spills out on the internet, and the next generation Honda CRV is going to hit the gym and make some gains, bro. Do you even lift? Plus, Google is self driving around Austin, Texas. And we have your FLD question of the day. Right, AK? Mm -hmm. Sure do. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you're checking into the fast lane that happens to be daily. Ooh. Mm. Google has been testing its self-driving cars all over California and Nevada, and now it looks like the technology giant has moved on to take over, I mean, uh, give Austin, Texas a round of testing. The autonomous Lexus RX crossovers were spotted cruising the streets of Austin with two passengers each, two passengers each, to watch over the system and or make sure if something went wrong, they were able to stop the vehicle before it hit something or someone because, well, that, that wouldn't be good PR, right? Interestingly, though, Google did get the proper governmental approval to test its vehicles there, but it didn't tell the press or the public. Hmm. So many people were surprised to see the self-driving crossovers in their neighborhoods. In other news, Google also just announced Google Brain where they'll essentially self-drive your brain by the year Google 25. I mean, 2025. <laughs> that was weird. Google. Honda said that the next generation CRV crossover, which should be out in 2017, will grow in size and become more of a premium product. So basically what they're saying is it'll be an SUV instead of a crossover SUV. So we're talking full-on SUV, AK. Hmm. It would be similar to the Honda Pilot in size, mainly because they want to distinguish the CRV from its new compact crossover brother, the HRV, which you can see me right here talking about in our day three coverage from this year's New York Auto Show. The new CRV will offer seating for seven and have upgraded safety and convenience features to help it better rival cars like the Land Rover Discovery Sport and Volvo XC60. So yeah, the CRV is moving on up to the big leagues, rivaling some luxury SUVs. Looks like CRV wants to stand for classy rich vehicle now, huh? You're too good for us, huh, CRV? I get it. Who needs you? Oh hey, real quick, uh, have you seen this smart 4-4 commercial? AK, I know you have. Well, let's just say it's NSFW, not safe for work. It's a bunch of kids with foul mouths, just cursing up a storm. Yeah, it's happening right here, which we don't have any sound on purpose. The commercial is saying that when you drive the wrong car, you curse a lot and your kids hear it and repeat it. That's basically the whole theme. It's pretty funny, but also messed up. Uh, the link is in the description. And again, put on headphones if you're at work or around your kids for sake. See, we bleep here at FLD, unlike this commercial, which the link is in the description if you want to. Uh, Go watch it, but headphones. All right. The 2016 Toyota Tacoma doesn't go on sale until the fall, but pricing does go online in an early leak. Prices start at an affordable $22,200 for the Access Cab 4x2 model with its 2.7 liter four cylinder engine. And then from there, you can go all the way up to $39,376 for the V6 Limited 4x4. The new starting price is about $1,200 more than the current cheapest Tacoma. But it does come with an automatic, so you got that going for you. Currently, the TRD Pro version Tacoma is absent from the pricing information, but expect to see it back on the roster pretty soon. You know, I had a, uh, I had a buddy with this truck, and uh, he talked about it all the time. It was like he was in a Toyota Tacoma. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd say that's a little over the medium, over medium on the chuckle meter, you know? That was all right. A Toyota Tacoma. All right. Recently, the Nürburgring's owners put a ban on manufacturers sending lap times due to recent accidents on the track, but it looks like that ban will be lifted soon-ish. See, we told you it wouldn't be permanent, but when they do lift it, Chevy will officially announce the 2015 Corvette Z06's lap time. 
although that doesn't mean we have to wait until then to report what that time is, because we know that it's seven minutes and eight seconds. Pretty good. For reference, that's 14 seconds faster than the previous generation Z06 and super competitive with the Nissan GTR Nismo. Heck, that's only a hop, skip, and a jump of seconds off supercar times like the Porsche 918 Spyder's 6 minutes and 57 seconds lap. That's what I'm talking about. Go America. You go America. I, I, I was throwing hammers at the same time, but yeah, you know what I mean. America. American sports cars. All right. It is time now for your FLD question of the day. You ready, AK? I'm ready. All right, let's see who we have today. Hey, Derek D. Matt LeBlanc here. Oh, okay, stop it right there. Stop right there. First off, what's up, man? And yes, that is an FLD fan named Matt LeBlanc. And no, it's not this Matt LeBlanc. You know, the one who played, yeah, him, Joey from Friends. Yeah, it's not the same guy. So, that being said, what's up, Matt? I am here at Brands Hatch. I have rented a uh, catering room for a, a day in the track. This is my uh, second bucket list item. Ah, all right, nice. Brands Hatch over there in the UK. Pretty cool. Whipping around a catering 7R300. I think that's what that is behind them there. Uh, you know, getting some bucket list items out of the way. That's always fun. Now, let me ask you, though. You said this was your second bucket list item. So what was your first? Uh, I was inspired by your Nürburgring trip a couple of years ago. And uh, so my question to the audience is, what's yep. your next track event bucket list? Ah, very nice, man. So yeah, his first bucket list item was doing what we did for our 1000th episode of Fastlane Daily. Went out to the Nürburgring in Germany, rented a car, in our case a minivan, as you can see right here, and I whipped it around the ring in a staggering 14 plus minutes. Good times. Well, it was good times for me. It wasn't actually a good time. I might have the record for one of the slowest. Hey, I'll take it, AK. I'm fastest in a minivan. Yeah, you should have seen me on that carousel, guys. You don't even know. Well, you do. You saw the episode. Okay. Glad to see we are inspiring people. So, Matt's question basically was, what item on your bucket list would you like to check off at a track event? That, uh, that's a good question, AK. Hmm. Well, I have already driven a NASCAR stock car at about 165 miles per hour on a track. That was a lot of fun. Honestly, what made it even more fun was the fact that the car felt like it was going to shatter to pieces at any moment. Super rickety, and I was shifting. It was just a lot of fun. I mean, and I've driven regular cars, supercars, regular cars, I've driven supercars around tracks, and it's always fun, and I've hit well over 100 miles per hour countless times. But the fastest I've ever went was actually in that NASCAR stock car. But I've always wanted to hit the 200 mile per hour mark. So I think going to a runway or a very long track somewhere and breaking the 200 mile per hour barrier, that's definitely a bucket list item of mine. If you have a Veyron or something, please get in touch with me. Anything that can hit over 200 mile per hour safety, let me know. Safely, let me know. That would be my top item. So there you go. Hey, Kay, what about you? Drag racing the quarter mile. Drag racing the quarter mile in? I don't know, in, in five seconds. Five seconds? Well, that's OK. You're going to have something super powerful yes. for that. Oh, yeah. With a lot of what, Erica? Torque. <laughs> yeah, you need a lot of torque in that one. Uh, Tom, what about you? 24 hours of lemons. 24 hours oh, of lemons. Good yeah. There you go. And how much can you spend on a car? 200 bucks, 200 not, bucks, or 500 bucks. It's not that much. I think it's like 500 yeah. bucks or something. I did a cross country rally called the Babe Rally, uh -huh. Big Apple to Big Easy, which was $500 or less for car. That was awesome. So that's pretty cool too. I want to do a 24 hour race. That's the yeah, in, lemons. In, in lemons. Yeah, which is almost a parody of Lamar. Um, Erica, do you have any? Um, the list? I mean, I still have to hit 100, so. Still have to hit 100? Really? You get, I, okay, Erica, get Layla at 100 in a safe, safe fashion go no. to a runway go to a drag strip Layla can't handle that she could handle it no. you gotta you gotta you gotta give her some credit i think she can handle it omar i'd ask you but you're not near a microphone anyway thanks for that question matt leblanc <laughs> appreciate you being such a big fan and for that i will give you a friends tv tv show clap <laughs> there you go you got that right mm. okay all right Time for you guys to weigh in and use the hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you can send a video in just like Matt did to tips at fastlanedaily.com. What kind of link do we prefer, AK? YouTube link. There it is. All right, I have to think about that. For That's a the one. That's the one. All right. 
That's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching, everybody. But before we go, happy 23rd birthday to Big FLD fan Juan Diego Moreno. Mr. Muscles here. Do you even gain, bro? Yeah, I guess he does. Says he's been around a long time since before I had my solstice. He's been a long time fan, and we do appreciate it. Next, happy birthday, Max Bongiorno and his brother, who Max didn't tell us his bro's name. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. I guess they're either twins or maybe they were born on the same day, different years. But thanks for watching, guys. And last and most important, happy birthday to my mom, Mrs. D. Happy birthday, Mrs. Yes. Happy birthday, Mom. You are the best, and I love you. So, uh, good old Mrs. my mom. D. Yeah. All right. Happy and anyone else who has a birthday on July 9th. There you go. Google has been testing its self-driving cars all over California and Nevada. Nevada. I, people always bust my chops about how well, to say Nevada, or I say Nevada. I say Nevada. But people, Nevada. A lot of people are like it's Nevada. Well, it depends when you live. Yeah. Well, I live here. I'm saying it Nevada. Nevada it is. All right. Google has been driving its. <laughs> is it Nevada or Nevada? Google. Google. Where is Las Vegas? Self driving cars. Derek. Derek D, where's Las Vegas? Nevada. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.